Alright, I'm going to show you Edward Fenninger, the heretic Edward Fenninger, submitting to the words of men above the words of scripture when it comes to who is James and Hebrews written to. He says, well, a King James Bible believers have always taught that James and Hebrews is written to Christians. Watch this. Most King James Bible believers believe Paul wrote Hebrews. But we also believe that he wrote Hebrews to the early church, just like James. So there you have it, Ed Fenninger submitting to the words of men above scripture. It just proves that they have this kind of Catholic mentality of, oh, what's the historic position of the church regarding this issue? So it's not about what scripture says, it's what, what do uh, Christians always believe? What do professing Christians stand on the issue? You know, when has that ever been a standard? I'm going to show you some verses that tie into this. But on this thing of, of the book of Hebrews, who is it written to? Well, first of all, nobody is in Christ in the book of Hebrews, okay? Search up the term in Christ in the book of Hebrews, never comes up once. There's not one mention of anybody being in Christ in the book of Hebrews, okay? The logic will follow, just basically biblical logic. If Hebrews is written to the Christian church or just unbelieving Jews, Paul would have mentioned about them being in Christ, just like how he does in every Pauline epistle. There's not a single mention of anybody in Christ in the book of Hebrews. Here's an example from, one example from each Pauline epistle of people being in Christ. Romans 8, 1, 1 Corinthians 1, 2, 2 Corinthians 1, 21, Galatians 1, 22, Ephesians 1, 3, Philippians 1, 1, Colossians 1, 2, 1 Thessalonians 2, 14, 1 Timothy 2, 7, 2 Timothy 1, 9, and Philemon 1, 23. All mention people being in Christ. Where is that in Hebrews? Search in your Bible, in Christ, it stops at Hebrews, because there's nobody in Christ in Hebrews. Paul is not speaking to Christians in Hebrews. He's speaking to Jews. That simple. So Ed Fenninger is a heretic, and he's submitting to the words of men above Scripture. And here's some verses about that that tie into this. 1 Corinthians 4 and verse 6. And these things, brethren, because I have in a figure transferred myself into Apollos for your sake, that you might learn in us not to think of men above that which is written, so that none, that none of you be puffed up for one against another. You're thinking of men. Ed Fanger is thinking of men of men above that which is written. He's not supposed to do that, but that's what he's doing. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 5. So thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. Ed Fanger is a heretic, but if he was saved, which is not, his heart has departed from God. He's submitting to the words of men. He's thinking of men above that which is written. Psalms 118, verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. I could care less what the historic position of the church is. What does the scripture say? That's all I care about. I don't care about what have Christians always believed, or because this is Catholic, this thing of, oh, what's the, what, what have the church always believed? That's what Catholics do. So Ed Fenninger doing that, just showing his papal Catholic mentality. It's ridiculous. So don't be deceived by Ed Fenninger. He's a heretic. Uh, Hebrews is not written to the church. Okay, it's written to Jews. Again, there's nobody in Christ in the book of Hebrews. So don't be deceived by this heretic. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.